I arrive at Stavne and follow a trail marked with blue stripes. I cross the bridge over the Ush River and head towards a wooden shelter. A walk up through the beach woodland, then a traverse with an endlessly winding path. I follow a forest road and go on gaining elevation. I stay overnight inside a log cabin used by the border police and sleep on hay. The next morning I follow the red stripe trail ascending steadily via tiny glades with berries. I reach the Ukraine-Poland border at the summit of Cheremka. There is a historic border stone dating from 1934 on its top. I stare at the damaged fence, its rusty barbed wire serves as a reminder of the communist era. And the distinct trenches remembering the world wars. I search for the military cemetery, maybe it is obscured by the clumps of bushes and overgrown by berries. What a dramatic history! Now I find this place peaceful and quiet, affording a spectacular view of my below Bishari mountains. I've never seen them before from this angle. I take precious shots of Tarnica, Sheroki Vierch, Halic, and Rosipanets. My thoughts are backed by the so-called association memory and I am able to recollect my first Carpathian adventure, which took place 10 years ago in this very special nook, often called the Polish Wild East. I try to capture the lesser spotted eagle soaring over me and the deer crossing the glade as well. This land has been rewilded and now it can be proudly called the Wolf Mountains. After a three hour stay on Cheremcha, I descend through the easternmost patch of Stuzica Primeval Beach Forest, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I bushwhack along a narrow corridor among uprooted beech trees. A view back to the green canopy of this pristine woodland stretching along the Ukrainian, Polish and Slovakian border. When looking in the opposite direction, I try to capture the picturesque scenery of rolling forest-clad hills dotted with a mosaic of meadows and lonely houses, the characteristic landscape of the lower parts of the Skidney Beskidi. I am keen to visit wooden church in Ujok, Cerkva of the Synaxis of the Archangel Michael, a recent World Heritage Site and a part of transnational property named Wooden Cerkvas of the Carpathian region in Poland and Ukraine. 
a local guy shows up and unlocks the door, letting me inside the church, which boasts a valuable 18th century iconostasis. I say goodbye to one of the best known churches of the Boiko type in the Transcarpathian region. I underpass 170 meters long viaduct and go to Ujok train stop. This section nicknamed the Transcarpathian Semmering with plenty of tunnels and viaducts ranks among the most attractive railroads in the Carpathians. It winds through a strictly protected zone, Ukraine's forbidden zone, and EU's boundary. Passing by a 39 meters tall Sherbin viaduct, I try to film the beautiful lit patches of woodland in the Yuzhansky National Park. system of six tunnels with an overall length of almost one kilometer is considered to be the longest of its kind in Ukraine. The strategic Uzhotska Pass, I get out of the train at Sianki.